After three and a half weeks of me coming to the emergency room for cellulitis, the FBI finally drained the abscess that was on my leg. That went from my shin to the back of my leg. It was a pretty big abscess. They drained it right here in my room. I didn't mind though. Uh, they gave me a local anesthetic which just numbed my leg. It was about 85% successful. I felt a little bit of pain but I didn't complain. I was just happy to get that all that bacteria out of my leg. I'm on IV, IV antibiotics. Uh, the FBI killer doctor put gauze in the, where the uh, abscess was. He says that's standard operating procedure so it doesn't uh, get infected again and become another abscess. Um, I wish the FBI did this three and a half weeks ago when I came to the hospital and told them uh, I fell in the shower and I had a uh, pain in my leg. These killers knew I had an abscess in my leg the whole time. I mean, I figured it out uh, two and a half, a week and a half ago, but, you know, this is what happens when the FBI is in charge of your health care. FBI security keeps coming to my room talking about Staff is uh, uncomfortable because they're being, they don't want you recording them. Anybody who's watching my YouTube videos and documenting what's happened to me, me documenting my murder, no, I've never recorded staff in this hospital. I've recorded your security guards and their um, FBI police, FBI security, because when they act like they want to arrest me, I want people to know what happened to me. Because it's my word against the FBI. And I'm human garbage, a fucking nigger and an animal. And it doesn't matter what these people did to me. Put cameras in my bathroom, watch me and my 9 to 7 year old daughter shower and bathe. Bug every TV in my house, turn them into convert audio video recording devices. And I can prove all this. Watch me have sex, undress, watch my daughters play, undress. My daughters were 9 and 7. And these people's words still have more weight than mine. Because I'm human garbage, a nigger and an animal. But they keep coming in my room talking about the staff doesn't want to be recorded. I said, show me a video that I recorded staff besides FBI security when they act like they want to arrest me. Well, they, it's all COINTELPRO. The FBI has to make me look like the problem, so. And they got all their proxies here, you know. But anybody watching my videos, I don't have to record staff. As long as I got their names and who I was treated by, that's good enough for me. And everybody know I went to the hospital to save my life. I'm not out of the woods yet because I'm still having chest pain, shortness of breath, and it's infection, and all those inflammatory factors are still all in my body. But uh, this was a small step in the right direction, and if I didn't fight the way I did, this would have never happened. Just continue to pray for me, please. I need all the miracles I can get.